Good day to you. This is Todd. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word. Thank you for uh, joining us as we today are starting the last chapter of Matthew. Uh, so we only have two more episodes to go as we conclude um, uh, the book of Matthew. So again, as we conclude the book of Matthew, uh, keep thinking about what uh, book of the Bible you might want to study. Um, so uh, let me know. All right, so let's read today. We're going to be reading from Matthew 28, verses 1 through 15. And this is um, the resurrection of Jesus. It says this, After the Sabbath at dawn, on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. Okay, and this would have, would have been traditionally Sunday, because this is the first day of the Jewish week. All right. There was a violent earthquake, for, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven, then going to the tomb, rolled back the stone, and he sat on it. Okay, this is the second earthquake that has happened in these past few days. The first earthquake was when um, Jesus died. Now there's another earthquake when Jesus rose from the dead. And he, the, the angel came down from heaven and going to the tomb, rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothes were as white as snow. The guards were so afraid of him that they shook and became like dead men. Yeah, I think I'd be afraid also if I saw that. Okay. Verse 5, the angel said to the woman, Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. He is risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples he has risen from the dead and is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him, just as I told you. Now I have told you. Okay. So he instructed the women, this angel instructed the women, go left. You're, you're not going to see Jesus where, we, where he was laid. And the women knew, we talked about this before, the women knew good and well where Jesus was laid. Okay. And she says, now go tell uh, the others about it. Verse 8. So the women hurried away with from the tomb, afraid yet filled with joy, and they ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them. Greetings, he said. They came to him and clasped his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. Verse 11. While the women were on their way, some of the guards went into the city and reported to the chief priests everything that had happened. When the chief priests had met with the, 11, with the elders and devised a plan, they gave the soldiers a large sum of money, telling them, You are to say his disciples came and stole and stole him during the night and stole him away while we were asleep. Now, <clears throat> naturally, they paid the, the guys to say that. But if you fell asleep and you let your prisoner escape, um, back in that day, you were killed. Okay, the, the, so the guards are not naturally going to want to do this. So... Um, that was a plan that was devised and rumor of it got out. I mean, someone leaked it out early. It never was kept secret about what they had done. Okay. And of course it was obvious that Jesus was risen from the dead. Verse 14, if this report gets to the governor, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. Okay. So the religious leaders are going, uh, if this report gets out, uh, we know you're a dead man, but we're going to take care of that. We're going to take care of that. So the soldiers took the money and did as they were instructed. And this story has been widely circulated among the Jews to this very day. All right. So um, let's stop there because the next, uh, the last episode we're going to do is the Great Commission. Jesus' last words to us while he's uh, here on earth. Okay. So, uh, but this is the resurrection of Jesus. And again, I bring this up to, to show you that and we've talked about this over and over again, but the resurrection of Jesus separates Christianity uh, away from every other religion, okay? And the reason it separates uh, Christianity from every other religion is this, that we have a Savior. We have the leader of our, of our religion, okay? But we have a Messiah that has not only died for us, died for our sins, but he rose again to, to show that he conquered death. Okay. No, no one else has ever done that. Okay. 
So you can go down through the different religions. You can buy a book of religions. You can go down through there and look at that. And you can, you'll, you won't find any of them that have died and then um, rose again. Okay. But that's what separates uh, the true Christianity um, from everything else. And that's why Christianity is the only true religion. All right. So thanks for watching. I'm just a regular dude walking in the word. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we actually conclude the book of Matthew. How about that? So I look forward to seeing you all. See you then.